11 on WAND. Watching Central Illinois' best source for news and weather. WAND News Today starts now. Right now, Illinois is under a disaster proclamation from Governor Pritzker amid dangerously cold temperatures. We'll give you everything you need to know this morning to stay safe. Good morning, everybody. I'm Matt Loveless. And I'm Meredith Juliet. It's 6 a.m. on our Wednesday morning. Meteorologist Jessica Dobson joining us right now. Jess, it's freezing outside. It is dangerously cold. We stressed that quite a bit this morning already, and we are seeing these temperatures already well below zero, our actual air temperatures. Ugh. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of those temperatures as you step out the door this morning. We are sitting at negative 20 now in Bloomington. We've dropped two degrees, negative 14 right here in Decatur. And if that's our uh, official low temperature, then that will actually break our previous record for a record low temperature. So we're already seeing these very cold temperatures this morning. They are dangerously cold. You want to limit your time outside. We were just talking during the break how quickly it is with temperatures and winds like this to get frostbite. It takes about five minutes. That's all it's going to take to step outside. So make sure you warm up that car if you have to head off to work this morning. We are seeing the wind sustain anywhere from about 15 to almost 30 miles per hour. So that's sustained, constant wind speeds like that. So that's why our feels like temperatures are ranging anywhere from about 30 below to almost 53 below in places like Bloomington, uh, 43 below in Champaign, 42 below in here in Decatur. So bottom line, it's very cold as you step outside, too cold to be outside, and honestly, my professional opinion. So as you play in the rest of your afternoon, we are going to be seeing plenty of sunshine that's just not going to help form us up by much. We are going to be seeing those temperatures remain below zero throughout this afternoon, but if you're not a fan of these temperatures, we do have some good news on the way. We'll talk more about a major warm-up we have coming up in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Jessica. And to stay up to date on just how cold it is right outside your front door, download the WAND Weather app. You can have the latest conditions and forecasts on your mobile device. It's available for Android and Apple devices. This morning, over 100 schools, government offices, and businesses are closed. You can see the school closings crawling along the bottom of your screen right now. We also have a complete list on our website, WANDTV.com. And if you have to be out in this weather, be careful about warming up. Yeah, Dr. Ben Johnston from Christie Clinic tells us if your feet and hands do get numb, don't put them right in front of your heater. I know there's sometimes an urge to do that when you go back indoors. Instead, use your own body heat to try and bring them back to a normal temperature. Indicator 1 warming center will be open around the clock. Decatur's St. Peter AME will be open through 2 p.m. Thursday. For Jacob Jenkins with the Greater Decatur Black Chamber of Commerce, it's about supporting their mission. One of those things is health, you know, health and wellness. And if you're outside and freezing, you're neither healthy and you're not well. This work is always about serving. It's always about helping those that are in need. The church, located on Church Street, says they could always use more volunteers and donations. If you want to help out, you can call the church. And to find a warming center in your area, we do have a county-by-county -county list on our website. That's WANDTV.com. And if you need a ride to a warming center, a local limo service is offering free rides. Star Limo Service is offering the rides to centers in Champaign-Urbana and Monticello. You can call the business to get a ride scheduled. And buses will still run as normal in Champaign-Urbana today. CUMTD says it was removing the barriers to help keep its passengers warm. There will also be a warming vehicle at the Round Barn Road transfer point from 6 this morning to 8 tonight. Well, if you leave your dog outside, don't be surprised if it ends up in a shelter. Macon County Animal Control officials tell WAND News they will be on call to pick up animals left out in the cold. It's a misdemeanor in Illinois to leave your dogs out in dangerous conditions. Police officers, if they believe that the animal may suffer long-term or life-threatening injuries, hypothermia, or death, then we can take custody of the animals. If you do not pick your dog up from the shelter within seven days, it will go up for adoption. And Comcast, Comcast is helping out during the cold temperatures. The company opening thousands of Xfinity Wi-Fi hotspots to the public for free. To access those hotspots, simply select Xfinity Wi-Fi from the list of available networks and follow the prompts. The hotspots will stay open until the weather improves. This morning, Piatt County deputies are asking for help finding a woman wanted after pleading guilty to a drug bust. Deputies say Jeanette Siebens pled guilty last week and was supposed to be in court yesterday. She and her 18-month-old child are now considered at large. If you know anything about this, call police. 
In Christian County, police arrested a person.